Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand as we present the class of 2015.
At this time, could I have all the men please remove their caps? Why? Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to take the time right now and thank you for all of these wonderful people in the graduating class of 2015. I pray that you bless this ceremony and that you are given the glory in every event of this evening. I ask that you bless my fellow classmates as they end this chapter of their lives and start a new one, whether it, may, whether it be going to Mac, moving away and attending a university, or going straight to work. I ask that you bless whatever path they may choose and that all of their dreams and desires will be f fulfilled. I pray that you keep a hedge of protection over them and their families in the days ahead. We thank you for the wonderful people that you have placed in our lives to educate us and prepare us for the real world. We thank you, that, we thank you for allowing us to take this time to glorify you and bless this ceremony. Lastly, we thank you for giving us this time to celebrate such an outstanding accomplishment with our classmates, teachers, administrators, families, and friends one last time. We give you the, we give you the glory and the honor in everything that we do in Jesus' name, amen. Members of the Board of Education, teachers, family, friends, and of course, class of 2015 graduates, I'd like to welcome you to the Central High School and the 2015 commencement exercises. We are here to celebrate and reflect on the accomplishments of the class of 2015. So as a common courtesy to this class, we, we ask that you please uh, audience members refrain from any type of distractions, including talking and or other out, or loud outbursts that would take away from the significance of this ceremony. Remain seated during the ceremony and please, please turn off your cell phones. Polite applause for each graduate is acceptable. Your cooperation and respect for the class of 2015 would be greatly appreciated. And at this time, I would like to introduce our senior class president, Ms. Hannah Stamm. Good evening and thank you all for attending the class of 2015's graduation. We know that each of you in attendance tonight, whether mom, dad, family member, teacher, or friend, have had a part in helping us each reach this milestone in our lives. And graduation for some of us could not come soon enough, while others like myself, it came a little too fast. It's bittersweet moment knowing that we're all together with our classmates one last time and we are each leaving the school that we've grown to love. At the same time though, I know each of us have fond memories that will bring a smile to our faces when we talk about them for years to come. I am proud not to only be a member of this class, but to get to serve as president of a class that compares to no other. Whether it's sports, the classroom, or our character, we excel in all. On the field or court, our class members were leading their teams by example with sportsmanship, hustle, and encouragement. These things were shown through their teammates and the numerous titles won, records set, and banners hung. If you think our classroom, our class is competitive in just athletics, you should see our report cards. Dedication and hard work are the two traits that define our class in the classroom, and because of that trait, this is why you can still have a perfect GPA and still not end up in the top 10% of our class. While all these accomplishments are something for all of us to be proud of, I think what truly sets our class apart is our character. While I have mentioned a few traits above, like encouragement, hard work, and dedication, I believe that our class has many more. For example, responsibility, adaptability, compatibility, thoughtfulness, confidence, creativeness, helpfulness, and intelligence are other traits that we can all add to our resumes. I would like to add that we do pretty well at time management, but I think we know procrastination a little too well. <laughs> anyway, these traits are something that can never be taken away from us, and because of them, I know that the members of my class will be able to answer the challenge thrown their way, and that they will truly be successful wherever life takes them. In a land where we're given the opportunity to be whatever we aspire to be, and where we can climb the ladder as high as we want, I want to challenge every one of you to push yourselves in each of your endeavors. I ask that you not only set goals for yourselves, but to lay out a plan in order to reach your goals. In your careers, I challenge you to not only just make a living, but to make a difference. 
I also challenge you to not just invest in material things, but to invest your time. Invest your time in those around you and the things that make a difference in this world. I pray to e that each one of you are truly successful in each of your life adventures and that you will remember this one verse. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with, with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Thank you all again for attending this evening and for your continued support along the way. For my classmates, once a rebel, always a rebel. And since you all elected Brandon and I as most school spirit, I feel that it's only appropriate to lead you in one last chant as a CHS student. So audience, I'm sure that you've heard this plenty of times before, but I, you can feel free to join us.
Good evening. My name is Ken Halter, and standing beside me is Mrs. Debbie Bradley, and we are the Central High School Counselors. This evening, we have various scholarships and honors to announce, and in this class of 2015, there are a lot of them. First, we would like to recognize our A-plus recipients. Will the A-plus scholarship recipients please stand? This year, there are 89. This year, there are 89 graduating seniors that have met the requirements for an A-plus scholarship. That is the most we have ever had at Central High School. Congratulations to all these students who will receive two years of free tuition to a Missouri Community College of their choice. You may be seated. Also, a few years ago, the administration team at Central High School decided to reward excellence on the ACT exam with a monetary reward. Central High School is proud to offer a $100 ACT scholarship to any student who makes a composite score of 24 or higher on the ACT test or a $50 scholarship to any student who improves their score by three points or greater. Those students received those checks yesterday morning, parents, just to let you know. <laughs> Central students who are eligible to receive this scholarship are noted in the program. Please stand now to be recognized. Now we would like to recognize seniors who have been awarded scholarships. All scholarships that have been awarded are listed in the program. We will only be announcing the scholarship students will accept. Please stand to be recognized as your name is called. Please hold your applause until all scholarships are announced. Annie Agnew. Music scholarship to Mineral Area College. Douglas Anderson. Robert P. Mullock Memorial Scholarship. Colin Bess, a football scholarship to Missouri State University. Frederick Bond, educational scholarship from Elvins Baptist Church, Daryl Brock Memorial Scholarship, a Regent Scholarship to Southeast Missouri State University, and the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award. Michaela Bowman, an art scholarship to Mineral Area College. Emily Boyer, a Special Recognition Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Bethany Brown, Board of Trustees Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Peyton Caldwell, a Cheerleading Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Brianna Cash, an American Red Cross Scholarship and Educational Talent Search Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Jacob Chapman, Church of Nazarene Scholarship to Mineral Area College and the Robert A. Bob Byrne Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Lauren Collins, a Special Recognition Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Logan Comfort, the St. Francis Rotary Club Scholarship. Emily Gray, the Scholastic Award to Mineral Area College. Chelsea Grindstaff, the Park Hills Lettington Chamber of Commerce Scholarship an Upward Bound Scholarship to Mineral Area College, an Upper Bound Step Program Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Emily Hayes, a Curator Scholar Award to University of Missouri Columbia, Irene Mary Rhodes Scholarship. Jamie Henderson, a Judy Seska Latham Scholarship. Sydney Huff, a Kathleen and Kenneth Williams Pat O'Brien Music Scholarship to Mineral Area College, a music scholarship to Mineral Area College. Jenna Hulsey, a Walmart Dependent Scholarship. Dakota Johnson, a scholarship to Missouri Welding Institute. Mackenzie Jones, a basketball scholarship to Mineral Area College. Tyler Joseph, the Dean's Scholarship to Missouri State University, an Upward Bound Step Program Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Cassidy Kyle, the Missouri Natural Gas Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Paige Coverman, the Regent Scholarship to Southeast Missouri State University. Yeah. 
Lauren Lewis, Board of Trustees Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Brandon Mayberry, Football Scholarship to Lindenwood University Belleville, Central High School Athletic Booster Club Scholarship. Braden Mannion, Laverna Scholarship to Quincy University, Football Scholarship to, to Quincy University. Scarlett McCoy, Student Golf Assistant Scholarship to Mineral Area College, National Multiple Sclerosis Society Scholarship. Brittany Owens, Academic Scholarship to Northwestern University, Pledge Scholarship to Northwestern University, New Era Bank Academic Leadership Scholarship. Peyton Proffer, Cheerleading Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Sarah Ramo, President's Freshman Merit Scholarship to Missouri Baptist University. Brandon Richardson, Football Scholarship to Lindenwood University at Belleville. Caitlin Rudell, Cheerleading Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Stella Batten, Teacher Education Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Music Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Ryan Scherfus, Scholarship to the Missouri Welding Institute. Garrett Sellers, Music Scholarship to Mineral Area College. Sydney Skaggs, a Basketball Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Hannah Stam, Dean's Scholarship to Southern Illinois University at Carbondale. Softball Scholarship to Southern Illinois University at Carbondale. Missouri Fast Pitch Coaches Association Scholarship. Carpenters District Council Scholarship. And Farm Mutual Insurance of St. Francis County Scholarship. Kayla Vance. Scholastic Academic Award to Mineral Area College. Madison Weiss. Adam Aronson Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Paz Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Chancellor's Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Community School at Oak Hawk Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Access Missouri Award to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Pierre Laclede Honors College Merit Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Pierre Laclede Honors College Housing Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. And the Peter W. and Helen M. Good Scholarship to the University of Missouri St. Louis. Hannah Westcott, a cheerleading scholarship to Mineral Area College. Stephanie Whitmore, a special recognition scholarship to Mineral Area College. And Samuel Young, the Board of Governors Scholarship to Missouri State University and a Missouri Bright Flight Scholarship. Each year at graduation, we have a few special surprise scholarships. We would now like to announce these scholarship. There are six total this year. The Sid Bradley Memorial Scholarship was established in 1995 in memory of longtime central teacher, coach, and administrator, Sid Bradley. A committee composed of central teachers choose the winner based on financial need and outstanding academic performance. The Sid Bradley Memorial Scholarship recipient for the class of 2015 is Bailey Fincher. Please stand to be recognized. The Zach McDowell Memorial Scholarship was established in April of 2009 by Zach's family to provide financial assistance to a deserving graduate of Central High School. Their desire is twofold, to honor our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through, Jack, through Zach's legacy and for a young person with the same heart as Zach to receive financial assistance pursuant to a college degree. This year's recipient is Hannah Stam. Hannah, will you please stand and be recognized?
In 2011, the family and friends of Nathaniel Nate Lee Rawlins established a scholarship in his honor to provide financial support to a deserving graduate of Central High School. Nate was a fun-loving and outgoing child who loved sports and being outdoors. Nate was a friend to many. This year's recipient is Hannah Stam. Hannah, please stand and be recognized. The Rusty Priest Memorial Scholarship was established by his family in 2011 to honor his memory. Rusty was a central student who overcame many obstacles and lived life to the fullest. This year's recipient is Mackenzie Jones. Mackenzie, please stand and be recognized. For 30 years in his role as educator, motivator, and coach, Mr. Bill Bradley employed sports as a method to help mold the lives of students, student athletes. He coached boys high school basketball for 19 years and coached the Mac Lady Cardinals for 19 years. Bill cared about the local community and took leadership roles as well. Family and friends are remembering Coach Bradley's legacy by establishing Coach Bill Bradley Memorial Scholarship for Mineral Area College students. This year's recipient is Scarlett McCoy. Scarlett, will you please stand and be recognized? Another Memorial Scholarship was added this year after the program had already been printed. The Andy Gammon Memorial Scholarship will be awarded this year in honor of 1995 Central graduate Andy Gammon. Andy died tragically in an accident building a bridge across the Mississippi River a few years ago. Andy's family would like to honor a hardworking graduate who embodies the spirit of Andy. This year's recipient is Dakota Pope. Dakota, will you please stand and be recognized? Every year, Central High School is proud to present two citizenship awards as voted on by the faculty of Central High School. The criteria for the awards are based on responsibility, good conduct, and service to the community. As I announce this year's award winners, will you please come to the podium to accept the awards for Mrs. Bradley. This year's male citizenship award winner is Logan Comfort. Class of 2015's Female Citizenship Award winner is Hannah Stam. The Unitech Career Center issues a passport portfolio to Central High School students who have met the following requirements. They have to have a 95% attendance rate, and they have to complete an 85% average on the core competencies in their specified program of study. Central students with a passport portfolio and students who pass the certified nurse's aid exam are listed in the program. Would you please stand to be recognized? One of the largest numbers we've had from the Unitech Career Center. There are also eight students from Central High School who've been accepted into the extremely hard to get in Mineral Area College nursing program. Would those eight students please stand from this class? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a veteran of the United States Armed Forces, would you please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2015. The class of 2015 would like to thank you for your service and dedication to our country. And they would also, I would like to recognize the military enlistments of students from the class of 2015. Calvin Langston and Warren Westrup in the United States Army. Stand, guys. 
Avery Johnson, U.S. Marines. Haley Owens and Samantha Saunders, United States Navy. At Central High School, we recognize students who take a rigorous course of study throughout high school with a college prep diploma. These students have gone above and beyond the minimum requirements, taking an additional advanced English class, science class, and two years of foreign language while maintaining at least a 3.0 GPA on a 4.0 scale. Would students who are recognized for the college prep diploma please stand? The Missouri State Board of Education awards the College Preparatory Study Certificate to students who successfully complete a rigorous academic program in the high school. It's awarded in addition to the regular high school diploma. Along with a rigorous program of study, students must maintain a 3.0 GPA on a 4.0 scale, and they also have to score a 21 or better on the ACT. Would those students who have received the College Prep Study Certificate please stand? Thanks to the Central High School Board, or Central Board of Education, in cooperation with Mineral Area College, Central High School students are given the opportunity to attend college classes at MAC and also to take dual, cre dual credit classes on our campus, and they only have to pay one third of the normal tuition price. These students get what I call a jump start on college, with many of them completing over 30 hours of college credit right here on the central campus. Would our Mac Jumpstart students please stand? <laughs> Samuel Young, would you remain standing? This young man, if you notice, has two tassels tonight. That's because last week he graduated from Mineral Area College with an associate's degree. Central High School honors graduates by using the Latin cum laude academic honor system. Our cum laude with honor graduates must have a cumulative GPA of 4.0 to 4.29 on a weighted scale. Would our cum laude with honor graduates please stand? Our magna cum laude with great honor graduates must have a cumulative GPA of 4.3 to 4.59. Would our magna cum laude with great honor graduates please stand? Our summa cum laude with honor graduates must have a cumulative GPA, listen to this, of 4.6 or higher and they also have to be proficient or advanced on every end of course exam they take here at the high school. Last year, we only had 12. This year, we have 28 in this class. When I call your name, would you please stand? Annie Agnew, Doug Anderson, Frederick Bond, Bethany Brown, Jacob Chapman, Logan Chilton, Pierce Daniels, Christian Giasazzo, Bailey Fincher, Emily Gray, Emily Hayes, Stephanie Hayes, Jamie Henderson, Megan Jacobs, Avery Johnson, Cassidy Kyle, Paige Koberman, Brittany Owens, Lauren Lewis, Scarlett McCoy, Bailey Rossum, Hannah Stam, Kayla Vance, Maddie Weiss, Chandler Yates, and Samuel Young. Congratulations to all of our honor graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, the salutatorian is the graduating senior with the second highest GPA. And in this class, with the second highest GPA of 
and he will also graduate tonight with over 40 hours of college credit. This young man is a great student with high expectations, and I gotta tell you, he's got a personality to go along with it. This young man plans on pursuing a career in mathematics at Southeast Missouri State University. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to honor the salutatorian for the class of 2015, Mr. Frederick Bond. Well, we made it all the way to graduation and all by ourselves, right? Right? Nobody helped us? No, because that's not right. We had a lot of help, didn't we? Our accomplishments have been a team effort worthy of a team celebration. We couldn't have made it here without help. So before we blast off at the speed of light to extend our reach to the stars above, we should take time to think, thank those people who have been our influences, our coaches, our trainers, and our friends. The high school administrators and staff have been a tremendous influence on me for the past four years. When I first walked into the building, my parents uh, interviewed Mr. Coleman to see if this was the right school for me. <laughs> and when I walked out, Mr. Coleman told me, if you're the kind of boy I think you are, you'll have no problems here. He was right. <laughs> Mr. Ragland believed in me too. He got up and told everyone that I'd have no problem paying my water bills. Mr. Mills started up the Standing on Scripture Club, which has been a huge part of my high school life. And Mr. Petty made me realize that I wanted to do something with math for the rest of my life, which is why I hope to become a college math professor. I also have to thank the upperclassmen for their work in influencing me and pushing me to my goals. I had a lot of help from those older and wiser than me. And I learned very quickly that, in the words of Hamish Abernathy from the Hunger Games trilogy, you want to know how to win the Hunger Games? You got to make people like you. <laughs> now granted, this is not the Hunger Games, thankfully, but, but we still have to have people who will help us. And one of the first friends I made here was a person who was two years older than me by the name of Jade Fields. He, he was, uh, he assured me that he, there was nothing to worry about and he even kept me company when I looked lonely. One of the best friends I ever had was last year's salutatorian named Kyle Smith. Uh, he and his nerd herd have been mega influences on me and drove me to be my very best. And I'm certain that there were upperclassmen who took an interest in you. And I hope that some of you are positive influences to our underclassmen. You, my classmates, have been a great influence on me as well. Not just to push me to my goals, but to be a friend too. I am thankful to you all for being around for each other. The Bible says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. We shape each other emotionally, mentally, and in some cases physically. Um, and we could not have gotten here without someone who's had our backs. I know that I started thinking along the same lines as my friends after being around them for a while. Uh, there are even times where I look up to underclassmen. And we couldn't have gotten here without guidance from our families. That's right, your mama, your daddy, 
and whoever you live with uh, have been some of the biggest influences you could possibly have. They made you who you are. Uh, my parents homeschooled me until ninth grade. Your parents may not have homeschooled you, but they constantly taught you at home. If it wasn't for them, we would not really be anyone of importance. But now I know that we have a worthwhile future. Mine helped me with homework and read my reports and believed in me. I know that our relationships with our guardians will never die. They will continue to influence and guide us far into the future. My biggest influence by far has been the God who made me. He has been the light in my dark times, the initial and final pushes to glory, and the one who has loved me even when I haven't been the best of people. I have prayed with some of you over tests, and he's been a faithful master and savior to us. I can literally say that I could not be here without him, and I am more thankful for him than anything. I'd like to close tonight by quoting Denzel Washington's commencement speech to Dillard University. I pray that when you go to bed tonight, you put your slippers so far under the bed that when you wake up in the morning, that you have to get down on your knees to go get them. And while you're down there, say thank you. I know that I thank God for my family, my friends, my peers, my elders, and the rest of my influences. And as we start our futures, I know that we will have more influences who will help us because life itself is a team effort. Now, in the words of Captain Jack Sparrow, Bring me that horizon. <laughs> the valedictorian is the student with the highest GPA, and in this class, that's 5.269. This young lady will graduate tonight with over 40 hours of college credit. She'll be continuing her education at Mineral Area College and then moving on to a four-year university where she hopes to be an orthopedic surgeon. And let me tell you something, this young lady has overcome enormous obstacles to make it to this point in her academic career. And I know if she says she's going to be an orthopedic surgeon, that's what she's going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to honor the valedictorian of the class of 2015, Miss Bethany Brown. Welcome. I never expected to be standing behind this podium. There was a time when I wasn't even sure if I was going to graduate. At the end of the first semester, I decided that school was just too much to bear. I was going to drop out. Without the support of my mother, Mr. Coleman, and Mrs. Bradley, I would have dropped out and proved statistics correct. Statistically, I'm supposed to be a high school dropout, working a minimum wage job with little to no life goals. Statistically, I was supposed to fail. But I proved that statistics don't always apply. I proved that even though all of the odds were against me, I could change the odds. But none of this would have been possible without the support of my teachers, my friends, my mother, and my faith. Teachers, without your guidance and enduring devotion for your students, I never would have succeeded. Friends, you know who you are. You've been there with me through it all. You've listened to me, comforted me, and supported me. Mom, you've always put your kids first, even at your own expense. With well, this is me showing that all of your hard work wasn't wasted. You're my mentor, my role model, and most of all, my friend. 
You've been there for me through all of my complaining, whining, and ranting about tests, quizzes, and homework. You were the one to dry my tears after my first B on a test. You were the one pushing me to always try harder. Words cannot express the amount of gratitude that I have for you and for everything that you have done for me. Lord, you have been the ever-present hand guiding me and answering my constant prayers to get an A on that test. Cough, cough, biology. <laughs> Without the support and guidance of these individuals, I would not be half the person that I am today. I would now like to turn towards my classmates. Seniors, we are growing up and moving on, but not apart. We may not know it yet, but we have each touched each other's lives in some small way. We are each connected by our shared memories, whether infinitely, cosmically, or divinely. It's the little moments, the shared laughter and camaraderie of classmates that ties us together. The memories that we leave with tonight will last a lifetime. After tonight, our path to adulthood surely begins. Sure, we'll make mistakes. Sure, we'll stumble and falter and maybe even fail. But without failure, there can never be true success. Al Bernstein once said, success is often the result of taking a misstep in the right direction. So let's make a few mistakes and take a misstep in the right direction. But let's leave tonight and promise ourselves that we will be better, brighter, wiser. Let's leave tonight and prove that we can be anything, do anything, and change everything. But just for tonight, let's leave as the class of 2015, proud to be a rebel. We can now say, that we made it. <laughs> Members of the Board of Education, as principal of Central High School, I do hereby certify that each of these 127 candidates of the class of 2015 have met and fulfilled all the requirements as set forth by the Board of Education and by the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. And now with your permission, we will proceed with the awarding of diplomas. Ready? Caitlin Ann Sisk. Paige Michaela Koberman. Chandler Nicole Yates. <laughs> Bailey Nicole Fincher. <laughs> Colby Ray Buckley. <laughs> Lauren Emily Lewis. Darren Joseph Coleman. <laughs> Frederick Stephen Bond. <laughs> Brittany Shanae Owens. <laughs> Bethany Leanne Brown. Sydney Elizabeth Huff. Madison Elaine Weiss. Annie Elizabeth Agnew. Cassidy Elaine Kyle. Kelsey Elizabeth Davis. Scarlett Malin McCoy.
Christian McMichael DeShazo. Emily Ann Gray. Avery Scott Johnson. Emily Rose Hayes. Logan Matthew Comfort. Jameson Hunter Strange. Haley Nicole Teasley. Douglas Ray Anderson Jr. Tanya Rhiannon Denny Richmond. Ty Matthew Burns. Bailey Nicole Rossum. Logan Marie Chilton. Dakota Craig Pope. Hannah Nicole Stam. Abigail K. Reese. Megan Elizabeth Jacobs. Mackenzie Nicole Wiles. Lauren Lee Collins. Garrett Nathaniel Sellers. Caitlin Marie Brockus. Kyle Matthew Currington. Kayla Nicole Horton. Alicia Nicole Johns. Dakota Dennis Wayne Akers. Olivia Paige McCrory. Abigail Marie Gonzalez. Jacob Eric Chapman. Brandon Lee Mayberry. Christian Richard Norton. James Edgar Cantrell. Hannah Elise Westcott. Peyton Nicole Caldwell. Michaela Renee Bowman. Sarah Danielle Ramo. Ryan Kendall Scherfus.
Tristan Michael Barnes Pyatt. Kara Janae Hollinger. Autumn Lily Nicole King. Jacob Aaron Moore. Gavin Kane Tiffenauer. Destiny Ray Hedrick. Brianna Nicole Cash. Jessica Ann Robison. Sydney Lynn Fingers. Pierce Riley Daniels. Colin Lee Bess. Scott Eugene Richardson II. Jared Zachary Cook. Gabriel Calloway Wortham. Mariah Nicole Thomas. Alexander Joseph Campbell. Samuel Darren Young. <laughs> Stephanie May Rose Hayes. <laughs> Jamie Renee Henderson. Garrett Austin Cassidy. Brett Eric Taylor. Kayla Marie Vance. Peyton Michelle Proffer. Ivy Serena Moore. Carly Kimberlin Hamby. Calvin Lee Langston. Jacob Lee Boyd. Caitlin Michelle Thomas. Tyler Christ Christian Joseph. Caitlin Michelle Rudell. Gabrielle Leanne Robbins.
Erica Danielle Conway. Tristan Ray Jordan. Alexis Gabrielle Houston. Savannah Lee Tace. Danielle Elizabeth Kennard. Keisha Jaylene Wright. Brandon Nicholas Caldwell. Braden James Mannion. Haley Lynn Geralds. Kelsey Abigail Williams. Jacob Michael Thomas. Warren Matthew Seth Westrup. Tara Ashley Williams. Autumn Lynn Tyler. Mackenzie K. Jones. Sydney Nicole Skaggs. Caitlin Renee Weibel. Chelsea Lynn Grindstaff. Jordan David Thomas Sturtz. Tommy Edgar Rudy. Dakota Lane Johnson. Madison Kathleen Furry. <laughs> Bailey Nicole Coleman. <laughs> Savannah Lee Runyon. <laughs> Jessica Marie Hill. Jenna Marie Halsey. Rebecca Michelle Helms. Cheryl Ann Brooks. Brandon Keith Richardson. Jeremy Lynn Gann. Brady Eugene Scott Robinson. William James Pope. Charles Casey Bivens. Skylar Cardi Detmer.
Amanda Michelle Vandiver. Haley Marie Owens. Samantha Lee Saunders. Stephanie Faye Whitmore. Emily Dawn Boyer. Jessica Dean Butcher. Austin James Schinnebarger. Faith Noel Richardson. Christopher Michael Pease. Come on, come on, Chris. <laughs> and Michael Lee Tyndall. The turning of the tassel symbolizes the change from student to graduate. Class of 2015, please turn your tassels. Come on up here, co presidents of the student council, Mr. Logan Carver and Mr. Pierce Daniel. Y'all stand away from each other, guys. Okay. Alright ladies and gentlemen, these two guys, by the way, I wrote this out for you just like you have to write out the pledge every day in the high school, right? He reads it for our entire class, our entire student body, and every day he reads it off of his phone to make sure he doesn't miss anything. <laughs> class of 2015, what wonderful memories I will never forget from your class. First of all, let's say you four right here, Lauren Lewis, Freddie Bond, Brittany Owens, and Bethany Brown, you all did a wonderful job on the radio. You set the bar for this class with such high GPAs. It was a race down to the end to see who would be valedictorian and salutatorian. And how about that football team? First time, you guys can always say... You guys can say you were the first ones to play on that brand new turf field out there. The field that this community built. Thank you. Where's Peyton Proper, Annie Agnew, Cassidy Kyle, and the rest of you senior Pommy ladies? Where are you at? Haley Gerald, you were part of this too. Uh, I think it was about six years ago, I think I told Mr. Bradley, I said, will we get rid of the Pommies at that time? I said, that will never happen. They'll never come back as long as I'm the principal of this high school. Thank you ladies for making me eat my words. <laughs> And by the way, we're a better high school with the Tommy Dance Squad out there, all right? Hey, I'll miss dancing with you. Who am I going to find to dance with now? And uh, where's, where's Brayden Manning? Brayden, I noticed you're leaving, and Holly, my secretary's leaving this week. What's up with that? <laughs> but the one thing I'll never forget about this class, we got three senior girls, Hayden Caldwell, Sydney Skaggs and Mackenzie Jones, you guys brought the best memory I've ever had as a high school principal winning a state championship in girls basketball. So, thank you for everything. We will miss you tremendously. Guys, I'm going to turn it over to you. Alright, parents, family, and friends, it is with our great pride and honor that we present to you the 2015 graduates of Central High School.